I'm Dan. Again. Did you start it again? Yeah. Because I'm Nick again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We decided to make some uh, adjustments because we uh-huh. are professionals here at We are professionals here at the Unpanderers. Yeah, Unpanderers. Unpanderers. Hi. Just got done telling everyone I had a man bun. Yeah. I was really excited because I did it myself. Yeah, because we had an admirer view our podcast and said he looked exactly like one of the Several women. Several admirers. Call on me. Mm-hmm. Beautiful 90s video, I think. Music video. When the music videos existed. I wonder if they think, yeah, John, are music videos still a thing? Like, I know they make them for really, really hit songs, but I was trying to explain this to someone the other day. Someone came over to my house, my uh, my girlfriend's uncle, and he was like, so, any big music videos you're into? And I think he was trying to be conversational. Yeah. And I was like, they don't really do music videos. And he's like, yeah, I think they do. And I was like, and I was like, for like, you know, top 10 hits, you know what I mean? There will definitely be a music video, and it will be produced like a small movie. Like it will cost a lot of money. It'll be great mm-hmm. camera work. Everything will be exceptional. But they don't really do it for B-list songs or like, you know what I mean? Like it's they're not, not you doing. Start with you don't say, "Hey, I'm going to break into the music music industry by making a a music video." Right. right. So I think it's safe to say music videos are deadish. Yeah. Deadish. Dead. Deadish. The um, Team Impala one's good. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. And the cheapest one to produce is probably, um, I think, Arctic Monkeys. They made one oh. that was just the sine wave. Two sine yeah, waves. Down, down, down. 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 From another song. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Did you know what they're called? Yeah. Anyway. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I did know them. Shout out. Friends of the podcast. All of all of y'all. Everyone in Arctic Monkeys is a big unpandering fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we made their music video. We helped. We're using the frequencies right now. Some of them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think we've used them all, actually, over the course of our podcast. So. What if there's a few we haven't? We'll have to cover them in the future podcasts, then. Uh, some screeches. We'll have yeah. a podcast dedicated towards screaming. <laughs> Each of us will take turns. We'll make bird noises, screech. Yeah, we'll make all the human noises possible. Mm-hmm. Which, ironically, is a lot of animal noises. I'll have everyone know. <laughs> we'll combine a, what, a, a mm. fern. Fern and uh, a... <laughs> how do they make a dinosaur again? They made like a lion's roar and like a peacock or something. Oh, did they? Is that yeah. how they went? Uh-huh. Scientist, you yeah. imagine if that was your job? We need to recreate a dinosaur roar. Yeah, I'm gonna get high at work, and we're gonna <laughs> use like I don't know, like leaves and porcupines, but like also a big animal. We're gonna combine them all. Hmm. I feel like um, work. No, I get, like the the music producers of the past. They use CDs or vinyl or some other medium that was not in one location. So they always had like a giant wall behind them, just all these CDs, I could imagine them having like a volume of like animal sounds, just like dreaming it up in their heads and being like picking on that CD and another CD and just mixing it together. Uh, pretty heavy, dude. Yeah. A lot of animal mixers. Like the number one scientist. On He's the got block. all <laughs> animal noises on this wall and he shows it off to all his guests. He's like, you ever want to hear what our fox says? Dad, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you the brachiosaur one more time. Hmm. He's got one of those '80s keyboards that just you tap it and it makes the brachiosaur, which is yeah, one over here that makes uh, car sounds. Hmm. It's my kid's favorite thing to do. He just that presses. No, it's like dissonant. Like any, he loves to push all the keys that are next to each other. I want to. I am feeling compelled to push those keys right now. Now that you mention it, I'm yeah, jealous. It's, not, it's a really good sound. All right, so where are we? Back on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got a little distracted there. Take a nice breather. This is a relaxation segment. segment. Yeah, I do dude. this every time today. Stretch me in move through the nose. Shoulders. Stretch that neck. Ooh. Just jerk your knees out as hard as you can <laughs> yeah. right in front of you. Just slam those. Don't puppies. look at what's there. Don't look. This is all part of the relaxation. Yeah, step. full full knee circles, nice and wide, and then full lean extension. back. Yeah. 
arch your back as hard as you can mm-hmm. 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 and breathe out. So who, uh, you got a uh, tongue twister? A tongue twister? No, I don't. Oh, I had boy. one and I was making it up. I had to do a ginger ale. It was like, ginger ale? Ginger's alley. And I was like, that's just a rhyme, a bad rhyme. That is true. I don't want to make one up on the spot, so let's just skip over that one. Hmm. You really want to do one, don't you? I can see it in your face. You're no. trying to think of it. You're thinking ginger. Ginger, ginger, ginger. Ginger, gingerly. James, ginger. James, ginger. Jane, Janie's ginger, Janie's ginger, Janie's ginger, Janie's ginger. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, Janie's ginger, Janie's ginger, Janie's ginger, 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 maybe. I don't know. I haven't warmed up my mouth yet. I haven't done my normal exercises. <laughs> need another cup. You need something. Mm-hmm. Huh. I need to do something. Else. Oh, you know what? I got this headache, and I thought maybe it was conditioned from drinking, conditioned from having a kid, conditioned from a combination of the two. Mm-hmm. But I think it might. Just be the man bun. Maybe it's squeezing my brain. Make sure you don't have like glio gold like glio I don't know how to say it. All those cancers are all the same. Mm. Glioblastoma, is that what it is? Oh yeah, blastoma. I recognize yeah. that word. I didn't recognize the first word though. I think that means it's like spreading along your nerve endings or something. That would suck. Yeah. It fucks with your voice, your smells and your tastes. Mm. And then your vision mm. starts to blur and then it's like <clears throat> but it's like it tweaks you. And then mm-hmm. people are like, like with one symptom, they don't really know what it is. They're like, maybe you should try this medication. And then like a month later, it'll be like, but I can't see that well either. And they're like, because it's really fatal. It's really bad. You should get that checked out if you get another symptom of anything. Like a headache? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone know <laughs> if you've got a headache, head to the ER now. Uh, if so you have insurance in, or not, depends. was in the ER... Recently, did I tell you this? You were? Yeah, I was. Personally? I mean, it wasn't for me. It was for my girlfriend. Mm. And she was experiencing pain. And we went there, and it wasn't just regular pain. We were in the ER for like 20 minutes. Everyone has a horror story. I was like, this isn't so bad. 20 minutes. Boom. Mm-hmm. Brought us to a room in the back. We sat in that room in the back for 48 minutes. Wow, you timed it? It like seemed like forever. So now an hour has passed, right? Like if an arm was falling off, who knows? And I'm like, finally, here comes a doctor. We're going to get whatever. And as the person comes in, there come, came in, come in. I was trying to combine okay, it. Yeah, we're bad at English tonight. I tried, I tried. They came in with like this piece of paper. And they're like, well, your bill comes to $580 for an ER visit or whatever it was. You know, something ridiculous. Yeah. And they're like, how do you intend on paying? And I was like, we haven't even seen a doctor. Oh, and man. she's like, She's like, well, you just have to put a minimum on there. It's, it's no big deal. Five dollars, ten dollars, and I was like, yeah, we'll do ten bucks. We gave him ten dollars. Like that was our, <laughs> and now they're gonna bill us for the know, rest five hundred, six hundred dollars for. Whatever. I feel like if you had a one random, like a random person come off the street and have like a just a fake piece of paper, asking for that exact thing, that you'd probably get a lot of money out of people. You dressed up like a nurse a little bit. Could, but I think it would help if you were in a hospital setting. No, I'm, I'm talking about you could walk into a oh, hospital, okay. go to someone's room, and just say, well, your bill came in, and uh, we'd like you to like, pay a little bit of it. I don't know what you have on you, but what, it'll help us. Do you, you think know? they have cameras at hospitals? They most certainly do, but if you're really <laughs> homeless. But if you're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're homeless. Yeah. Nice. Okay. We're crafting the perfect crime for all the homeless out there who watch the unbanders. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Just steal a cell phone. Oh, wait. You can't. Cell phone, cell phone, go to your local, local uh, free internet. Mm. Type in unpanders, and you're there. Are we that close to the internet is a, a life necessity yet? Didn't they Didn't they decide that... Uh, in America, and in the world, and where? They decided that cell phones were. Oh, did they? But I don't know if you get a smartphone with your Obama, Obama plan in the past. Trump probably killed it. Uh, I think you do get a smartphone. I think uh, internet is essential for job searching. To be yeah, as it makes sense. Factual, it yeah. does. I mean, mm-hmm. I can't compete. You'd be like, what, cold calling people? Offices or something? <laughs> do you have a job available? Like okay, that. now. Call me back at... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give an email. Oh. If I'm home, call this landline. Just email me. In the mail. The regular mail. The regular old mail. Yeah. But- how much is it to send a, a, a letter now? Is it 50 cents? 
49 cents or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, no one's going to do that. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> I didn't know. I knew. I knew I wasn't like sure. Burp, I didn't pick that up. Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> it was sure like which direction that was going. It was burp and it would burp. I don't know. Uh, I had a. Uh, snake is killing me. I'm trying to be more positive I'm to for the focus. podcast. Do I have to wait till you get over your hump? Is it an alcohol headache? Is it? I don't think so because I just I started um, like a minute before we turn on the cameras. So you want to go outside and get some fresh air and restart? <laughs> no, no, I do not. No, we're gonna power through this. Yeah, one. we're gonna power through it. So uh, I had my own hospital visit. Uh huh. Mrs. is pregnant, so we did huh? ultrasound, and they do like genetic counseling. What's that? Um, it's where they try to figure out, like. They try to figure out if there's anything related to, like, your family trees that would cause issues with a with baby. And there's no issue. Okay. He's fine. Mm-hmm. And um, she's going through all these diseases and, like, talking about all the different genes. You get, you know, you have 46 and then you have two pairs of 23 and all that jazz. Well, mm-hmm. my wife has an interpreter who does ASL. And the ASL interpreter... Um, well, they have to spell, like, half the stuff because it's, like, not... There's no common words mm-hmm, for it. Mm-hmm. Or they switch it. So the, there's a... Like she's saying, like the chances for having this disease, it's like like five percent, like one percent. So she's like five percent chance, one percent chance. But she was using like you have the chance to execute something. So like you have the opportunity. She was using the sign of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> you are opportunistic. One <laughs> one opportunity. Yeah. Do you want to cash in today? Here's your chance for Down syndrome. <laughs> every time uh, oh man every time they, um, it's like it's just it. all that with the um the size of the baby and stuff too right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they measure all the different parts of their body and they if they're proportional it's probably okay right 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 that's the scariest part about being a parent no one talks about because hospitals scare the shit out of you to take your money from you it's the same way they try to tax you by being in the room before you actually saw a doctor right for 40 minutes yeah Taxes, Easy. taxes. It's like you're going through Sherwood Forest. Yeah, taxes. Someone ought to rob those mothers. Yeah. Honestly. That's one of my biggest gripes, is that they charge you a, a, a fuck ton, and then insurance, depending on whether you're a slave, whether you're poor, or middle class, or you're ultra rich, I mean, you get charged very little or an excruciatingly painful amount. Right. Well, it is funny because the same procedure does not cost the same across the board. Mm-hmm. I know it's well documented. Like, what does an MRI cost? Well, anywhere between five dollars and forty thousand dollars. <laughs> no one's really sure. We just fire that baby up and throw a number out. <laughs> yeah. We throw uh, in coins and see what sticks, and uh, that's yeah. your bill. Oh, you got ten thousand dollars. Good luck with that MRI. You know? <laughs> oh boy, that sort of bullshit it just drives me nuts. And then if you get a bill. Like my the previous child's birth was like fifty thousand dollars reduced down to like five thousand dollars, and then if you wait three months and then say I'd like a reduction more, yeah, yeah, I've heard that. But you got to wait for it's like a big ball of money, and you just throw the sweaty ball of money right in their face and say twenty percent off, and they go. Oh, so no, it's a that. little bit like Kohl's business model. How's Kohl's? Have you ever been in a Kohl's? No, have you ever been in a Kohl's? Right? Yeah, yeah. There's one near me. Yeah. I've never been in a Coles where something wasn't marked off like 60%, like 30% or 40%. Huh. And I'm like, wow, babe, we're losing money to not buy this right now. It's 40% off. And it's something like socks or something. For, so it's like $11 for a 12-pack of socks or 6-pack of socks. And I'm like, babe, usually it's twenty one ninety nine. We got to buy it right now. So the red, and red the more you, Right. And the more you think about it, you're like, I wonder if it's twenty nine ninety nine ever. Or is that just a made-up number? And really, it's just the regular price. They just say it's on sale that much and show you the price that it would be if it wasn't on sale. I understood you. Thank you. I didn't <laughs> describe it perfectly. But, you know. No, they definitely replace those tags with ones that mark up the price. Right. Like well, it, no one's paying twenty one ninety nine for the socks yeah. I saw for seven ninety nine or eleven ninety nine. The only times I've been in Kohl's were buying online with like stackable discounts, so it's like eighty percent off. Right, and then you go to the front of the store, and they're like, hey, do you want to scratch off for another 40%? It's like, yeah. Yeah. Jack and you do it. And it's like, this place must be losing money. And it's like, well, uh, maybe everything's marked up to make you think you're saving that money. So you have, uh, you have a pet, right? 
I just, I hope he's dead. I hope he's dead by the time I walk upstairs. <laughs> yes. Well, well, like, I think it was like Petco or PetSmart. You know, they charge a ridiculous amount for their stuff. Yeah. They had a coupon that was, like, dependent. Like, it's supposed to be, like, scratch off. Like, when you show up at the register. And it was, like, 5, 10, 20, or 40% off. Sure. But it had a specific code if you were 5, 10, 20, or 40%. So, naturally, I just got the one that was 40%. And at the register, they're like, let's see what you got. And then I gave them the coupon. And she's like, oh, 40% off. That's amazing. And she literally had like a, a coworker behind her that was like the commentator. And he's like, oh, I wonder how that happened. <laughs> Wait, so what is it? They, it's always 40? If you pick it out, yeah. Because you could like online, like, yeah, the pamphlet showed that you could pick out either one. Oh, hmm. so you always pick the higher. Hmm. Yep. So I scammed them. I don't know. If you're really scary. you're taking them to taking them to town, baby. That's, I've, that's as guilty as I've I've felt getting a coupon applied. <laughs> Unless it's like free, like those people that uh, the ultra savers they stack like all these different coupons, and it's like you pay two cents on all of this stuff. And it's like ah, oh. and the people behind them in line are just like five hundred. We can go check out. Yeah. See, I'm the opposite of you. If we're talking about sales and things like that, like sometimes I see stuff for sale and it's across the street for like four dollars less for like an eight to forty dollar item. It's like this is thirty six dollars if you go, you drive five minutes away and go here. And I'm always like, I'd rather pay more. I'm tired. It's of this. almost like an f you to sales. No, no, because no, like all sales are somehow. I don't know. I I guess I'm super anti capitalist. Where it all feels like it's all a scam, it's all a trick, it's all an illusion, Michael. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes I'm just like, I wish I could pay more for this item. And just F you to all the people who love sales. I can't explain it, and I don't do it all the time, because I would just go broke. Well, I am broke, so maybe I do. So if, if there was a store that you could literally tip the manufacturer, like everything mm-hmm. had a base price, but you could pay more if you chose to. Would no, be. I wouldn't in that case, though. <laughs> like, I'm okay with the manufacturer charging more. I think it seems more honest to charge more money sometimes. I don't know. I feel like there's, like, capitalism works so that everyone wants everything for the lowest price possible. Mm-hmm. Except Just, if it's a juice maker called Juicero. That wasn't less, was it? I think that was the one that... It's like $1,000 for a... Yeah. Do you know what it was squeezing doing? the juice out of the pack? Just squeezing the pack. <laughs> and it, it turns out you could just squeeze the pack. <laughs> and, yeah. And it was Wi Fi connected. And you had to wait for it to like make yeah, software yeah. updates or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Firmware <laughs> update. Hold on. <laughs> Your juice will Don't, be ready do not in un- five un- hours. 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> you hear that yeah. thing in the middle of the night? They're like, mm. <laughs> oh, it, it worked. Slow squeeze. Honey, honey, the juice room worked. <laughs> Oh, it's up. <laughs> I like my juice when it's slowly squeezed overnight. That's when it mm-hmm. tastes the best. I'm like, you know you spent a thousand dollars on like a cup of juice. <laughs> <laughs> no one else touch it. The juicer is going to be the only one squeezing juices around here. It'd be great if it was fueled by juice, so you had to pour the juice back into it so they could squeeze juice. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> the uh I saw a juicer at a uh, what's the name of the secondhand shop? Juicero. <laughs> Juicero. In a secondhand shop? Uh-huh. For like six ninety nine. Oh, uh, you didn't I buy just it? saw this tweet. Six hundred ninety nine dollars or six dollars and ninety nine cents. No, six dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh yeah. Because think of it, what is it used for anymore? It can't get the software update to function. <laughs> well and and I don't know if that company's in business anymore after this. No, they definitely shouldn't be. Watch it be like a cryptocurrency scam or something. They now made a coin or a token. Could have, who knows? Hmm. <sighs> Clarifications? Corrections? Just one. Wow. I thought every year um, the president of your local library has to get struck by lightning. <laughs> I was going to try and, by holding up a sword. Damn it. <laughs> Can't do it. Uh, and and then they all fight, and there can only be one. Oh. Anyway, I was going to make a Highland reference, uh, but you kind of messed it up already. <laughs> so never mind. No, no corrections. I was entirely correct. Hmm. There can only be one librarian. <laughs> Did you see that that Reddit post of the person 
holding the umbrella up and under the rain spout. And they're getting pum- pummeled on by rain. And he thought the umbrella was going to flip upside down and spray him. Well, they walked out in the yard and a lightning bolt just like explodes behind them. They didn't get hit, but it makes it look like they did because the camera shakes and it's probably right. fake internet bullshit. But you see the car get struck by lightning yet? The white car? The white car? Is it driving yeah, through an intersection? And there's no flash in the ground? So. It's in Russia or somewhere. Mm-hmm. Anyway, this just happened uh, internet video a day or two ago. Mm-hmm. It's so funny how the internet works. Like you'll probably come across it in the next 24 hours. Yeah. And be like, ah, yeah. Everyone has their time, and my time's about. 37 hours delayed after the original post <laughs> to reach you yeah it's pretty but, um i know we usually have a format but we could probably jump into our subject a little here because it does tie in I, one thing one hmm. thing so there's a correction from last time for hmm. the uh nephrectomy is removing a kidney mm-hmm. so i went to kidney.org to find out if it was hmm. um beneficial to give away your kidney if you could live a full and happy life mm-hmm. and apparently on kidney.org you can you can live uh, a perfectly great life on continuing on and enjoying it until you look at other websites that say you can only uh, have 75 percent of your functionality left and you have to watch what you eat you have to do a blood test a urine test blood pressure you also have to watch your salt you can't smoke drinking alcohol is questionable your cholesterol your stress your weight and your exercise all have to be in the right area and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You have to watch out everything you do or else you're going to kill that fun- that functional kidney. And they say it, it really shows up. It takes about 25 years, but it's probably going to happen. Mm. Full 25-year lifetime of that kidney. You're going to have a great and happy life. So, no. No, I'm not giving my kidney to my dad. Screw him. <laughs> Fair. I would still do it. For your dad? For whoever, I can't wait to die. <laughs> see, you've already see. I think some people think I think I'm going to live to like 90s. You probably have a target that's like 40 something. I'll live yeah. fully in 40. You're, you're you're the live fully in 45 years type. Yeah, 100. Uh, percent Yeah, I'll be I'll be done doing everything I can do. And then I'm like, oh. I'm just sitting and sitting and waiting for your death. That's what this podcast is about, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's not the happiest, the happiest podcast on earth. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it had to do with something with something, but I can't remember. I'm telling you, I got a headache yeah. podcast. It's really weighing on me. I, I, I wish I could tell more jokes, be funnier. We're going to call this episode Dan Panda. Yeah, I have to do the whole thing. Oh, Panda all the Dan. heavy lifting. Check his shoulders. Someone give him a massage. Let my man yeah, go. On huh? my left side, because my elbow's killing me. I don't want to go on that story. <laughs> it's on my neck. I swear the guy, mm-hmm. el- he must have elbowed me in the neck at the same time he kneed mm-hmm. me in the elbow. Need you in the elbow. <laughs> it's a weird <laughs> sexual position. <laughs> oh, uh, it's the last mm-hmm. time I ever jumped right. into an orgy. From the top rope. Yeah. Uh, oiled up and ready to, ready to swim. So you hear about the Duffer brother, Brothers? Mm-mm. You know who they, do, they are? No, it sounds weird. Directors on Stranger Things, Netflix. Oh, okay. They uh, apparently allegedly yelled at a female cast member, and then she got upset and posted on uh, International Women's Day that which, they were meanies. Which was like a cameraman or woman? I'm not or, um, sure. It didn't really depend. Not one of the actresses? I don't think it was an actress. I think it was like, it's like a stagehand or something. Okay. Okay. So, like, she said it was abuse. Mm. And, uh, like, it, the, I don't... Those stories are always never... Amazing they, that makes it sound like you're siding. Yeah, I'm not uh, trying to specify. Okay. But uh, they do generalize. It's annoying when people, like, they roll it up. They didn't say what happened. They say, like, I've been wronged. And they don't say anything, really, mm. about what happened. They didn't mm-hmm. say, he said this, and this is what he said. And it's like, this is the exchange we had. I'm going to copy it, send it to you, legal documentation. They don't post that on Twitter, especially not on Women's Day, and using all the hashtags that relate to, what was, it? What was the movement? Me Too. Yeah, they didn't do the Me Too one, but I think they kind of tried to fold it into the Me Too. Okay. So that's like, people, that's how it goes. 
I um, I used to feel one way when I was younger, like more pro male when I was younger, like super pro male, mm-hmm. like like just watching the movie Fight Club over and over. Yeah. And then I think like a year or two ago, I was like super pro women, where I was like, "Hey man, they they need more opportunities." And now I'm at a point where I'm like, I really like the movie Fight Club still. And I think women could use more opportunities. So I'm just going to kind of stay out of it. It's like a women thing. I'm like, let their voices be heard. And so I guess that's me being generous. I'm not going to, but I'm not going to pretend to proselyte the cause. I'm not going to be like, women need more voices, people. And be like Bernie Sanders or something. Just be like, yo, let other people have the stage. Let them have their say. Go go. So you, I think you really want to understand what being a woman is like, which sure should entail going to a gay club and being hit on, right? I um used to deliver to gay bars. Yeah, how, how, what was it like? Oh my god, they, there's only two, but they really hit on me, and it was the best feeling in the world. Are you kidding me? It was great. They followed call me, me home. Sweetie, call me honey. Said I was the best looking. If I ever turned gay, to call them, and I was always like, huh, you guys. And then I was like, oh my goodness, this is great. Huh. Were they bigger than you? Were they muscly? No, they were like 70 and old. Yeah. So it was like, uh, but it was cool. Um, I did go on a tour of the neighborhood in Philadelphia. Me and um, my other buddy, Dan, college Dan, went and um, we did a whole night in gay town. And you were... (laughs) <laughs> but no, it was like gay, like all the famous gay bars. Like they were super gay, super gay. You got to know people to get in. We got in, didn't have to pay covers because we were with someone. I'm not gonna mention his name because I don't know if he he's an icon. He's, out. he's gay. He's awesome. I can say his name, Tom, but that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. He brought us around, me and Dan, and we were straightos, and um, we went to all the gay bars and didn't pay for a drink. People were buying us drinks. They were the happiest thing in the world. People were smiling. Everyone was clapping each other on their back. People were hugging. I was like, this whole other world I was in. And I was like, this is great. I wish I was gay. So me and Dan were outside. We're like laughing, having a good drink. And someone would be like, I can tell you two are a couple of straightos. And I was like, what did you say? And he was like, a couple of straightos. Can spot you a mile away. And I was like, wow. I am, but geez. I'm telling you, I think it's the time to be gay, though. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I can't do it. It's just, it's not in my nature, but they had so much fun. It's such a cool community. It's such a... And do you know, gay people always pay for stuff in cash? What? Are you sure? They always have cash. All right. This is a fact. Gay people just always have cash on them, and it's always enough cash to cover whatever the bill is. So when someone pays exactly in cash... Mm-hmm. The next time I see that happen, I'm going to be like, huh. Are you, hmm. I'm going to follow him out to his car and be like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> sir, are you? Are you? Um, can we? Uh, man to man. Are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a known, it's a known, <laughs> known fact. So. Oh, oh, oh. Are you? Shout <clears throat> out. <clears throat> I wish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wish I could go back to those clubs. <laughs> now I'd have to pay for my drinks. I'm a little older. Yeah, you know. you're no longer a stallion. That, I, I guess I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll tell the story. Maybe I will. I think it'll, Go ahead. Who cares? So, yeah, this, is not, this is not okay. on gays. This is on Ooh. the single guy oh, who's a creeper. Whoa. So, I went to, uh, I think it was a Sears, because they're going bankrupt anyway. It's probably a little bit better than Sears, I'll be honest. It was a little bit better than Sears. But uh, <laughs> I was buying dress pants for my uh, uh, first real job. It was back in college. And I got a pair of dr- pants. I tried them on. They're a little too small because I was getting a little bit muscular. Getting a little bigger back then. Muscular in the and decent the body. And the muscular well, get, in the waist. I got a big trunk. A couple okay. of trunks. So I was putting the pair of pants back. And I was picking out the bigger ones. So I went back in. And uh, I'm trying on some clothes. For some reason, I have my shirt off. I hear a knock. I go, uh, excuse me. And I go, I crack the door open a little bit. It's 
Oh, it worked. Yeah. I cracked the door open a little bit. He's like, yeah. He's like, I think I forgot my wallet in here. And I was like, you left your wallet in here? He's like, yeah, yeah. So I, the room is only like maybe three by three. <laughs> maybe two by two. <laughs> I look around. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. No. 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 So then I shut the door. He leaves. I get those pants. And I was just picking out a second pair of pants. I go back in. And I made eye contact with the guy as I walked back in. And I think that was a mistake. Like, I was just looking around. I was looking out for him to make sure he wasn't, like, yeah, following yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, You're like, mm, And then so. it's like, he's just, like, right on me. And I was like, fuck. fuck. Wait so, on Bryce. Uh, have you heard this story before? Just, uh, yeah, one, the next line coming up, yeah. Yeah, so. I didn't know the whole, I didn't know all these details. Yeah, yeah. so I'm changing. I put my, I, like, I felt something, like, wrong was about to happen. So I put my shoes in front of the door so I couldn't just, like, slide it open because those doors have, like, the little, like, magnetic thing. It just does, like, you can't lock it. Ooh. So it was, like, a shitty door with the slats. Yeah. <laughs> so he just pushes the door open slowly. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And he he just pantomimes. He pantomimes. And I go, um. <laughs> he's like, I'm like, don't. Is it blowjob? Blowjob? He said it? He said, said blowjob. That's awesome. And I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kind of like stood, like stood there like shaking my head. I get it. I'd never been propositioned like that before. So I was just like, like, what's the, I don't, I don't know how the, the proper way to say, get the hell out of here. Cause like, I mm-hmm. guess I could just say that. But I was just like, uh, 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 no, 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 no. And he just kind of like, like he slowly like slid it away. And like, yep, he did exactly that. Yeah, it's, it's, what else can you do? I mean, you you got the big no. I mean, in in retrospect, it probably took a lot of guts on his part. Yeah, I mean, he's like, I never do this. Handsome gentleman made eye contact with me. I'm gonna ask, <laughs> yeah. and he, then he you go and just shut him down. Fire. You do this, no. and he's like this, <laughs> out on a limb. He's like, oh, I thought this was, I don't. Oh. Well, now what do I? I gotta. Okay. <laughs> Did he at least give you a, um, see ya. Okay. Yeah. Like, Bye. <laughs> kind of like, Bye. ask him the stats. Like, how often do you do this? Uh, how many people say yes? <gasps> What's it, is it always the same room? Do I, should I come back? I'm not going to come back to the store. No. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing it's going bankrupt. Hmm. So that's my story about creepers who happen to be gay. One okay. creeper. Yeah. One creeper. My whole life. Let's transition to the next topic, which happens to be creepers <laughs> <laughs> uh, that are straight. Yeah. No, I read something today about uh, men. Men are really like dick salesmen, and they go around trying to sell you their dick all the time. And <laughs> once you get on the ground floor, they try to upsell you. They try to make it so it's like a bigger, better model. They try to get you really into it. What are they selling? Dick. <laughs> I, thought, I thought so, but what's bigger and better than dick? Baby, I got a fist. Oh, they're, they're, no, no. It's it's their dick that they haven't sold oh. yet. So, like, okay. you try once you get them a little interested on the ground floor, you just kind of pump it and up. It's so a you, better and better wiener. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been saying wiener a lot on the podcast because I think dick is too vulgar. Dick's offensive? Well, no, no, no. When I die and I leave this digital imprint, I want people to be like, Wow, they kind of let decorum. Dan kept saying dick. Yeah. But Nick? Not Nick. He was like, wiener. Huh, man, that wiener. <laughs> you know? Wiener's so soft. So gentle. <laughs> yeah, well, wiener is a, <laughs> like a flaccid penis. penis. It's a penis flaccid. is forceful, too. Dick and penis. Yeah, cock. Are. Dick, penis, cock. All three of those things are really forceful. Really manly to say it. Yeah, they're um, hard vowels, they're called. Uh-huh. Which conjures a hard... <laughs> I just upsold you. Thank you. Nah, digital imprint. I'm gonna have to cut it right here and start it up again. Why? Uh, I said the three holy, unholy trinities: dick, penis, cock. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is our topic? I think this is a really good topic. It's just, I hope it doesn't go to waste. Let's talk about mm. self and the digital self and the progression of self and all of that imprint that you leave behind uh, where do you want to begin how do you know you're, you're 
I'm going to cut right to the core. Sometimes I think that we overshare. We have too much information. We make podcasts. We make Twitters. We make tweets. We have Facebook posts about our dinner on December 18th at 4 p.m. when we had our early dinner, and we put a picture of it and talk about how we made it in the friggin' oven. Mm. And I'm like, that's too much. But how Bolognese. much do you know about? Well, how much do you know about? Let's say your grandfather. Almost nothing. I mean, I met him. He was alive. He probably for a while. wrote letters, right? Good guy, yeah. But it'd be a he had a job. Hold on, he had a job, painter. right? Painter. Yeah. I mean, he had no like it's more information coworkers. than he shared with me. I just shared with you guys. Sure. If you really, really wanted to, he was as famous as Elvis for crying out loud. Do you think you'd figure out way more about him? Hmm. You definitely could. I mean, not not as much. I'm not talking. Yeah. You would figure out where he worked, what years he worked, who he dated, kind of like maybe maybe some letters he wrote. Would you have anything he used to always? He used to smoke a wooden pipe. Oh, we found the pipe. But you don't care. I mean, not to be rude, but. Are you really looking for all that information? Once you get to this point in your life, it's not really about figuring out what you're going to do with information anymore. Like, you, there's no uh, hurdles that you have to jump over, really. So, like, the people that he dated, maybe it's reflective of something that you were doing when you were dating people, but that's gone now. So, sure. maybe one of the other topics would be, like, health problems later in life. Like, that really is pertinent to you, right? It is. Yeah, that, that would be, but I'm still not going to research it. Yeah. Plus, no one shares that socially for some reason. Right. No one's that like. That is interesting. No one does do that. Yeah. You could probably uh, figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have the. You're gonna have the a thirty five percent opportunity to have a heart attack in the next <laughs> ten years. Oh, I'll in take that. Ten minutes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sweet. Hmm. But I just think <clears throat> people are worried we share too much. But I. I imagine the pattern keeps going in the same direction. And sorry, I moved the car, which moved the camera. You have like a Rube Goldberg machine back there. (laughs) (laughs) My son's toys are all over. Yeah. So a car was sitting on the wire, but, um, I imagine my kid's generation will be sharing more than I'm already sharing. Yeah. They'll, do you think they're going to look up each other's parents and make fun of them? Probably are. Oh, for, uh, for a little bit, but like even that gets old because everyone's parents are corny and everyone's parents are doing stupid, corny ass crap. Hmm. Plus, do you think anyone has the attention span to watch a 55 minute podcast <laughs> no. in that generation? I don't think no, so. I don't think so. I think they're like, your dad had a podcast. What a loser! Your mom, Heather, put the baking ingredients for her casserole and it was wrong. You know what I mean? It's like, ooh. Unless your like, mom was like Carmen Electra or somebody like that. Right, right, like, right. That's why I mentioned if you were your grandfather was Elvis, you would know more. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's a crazy thought I had the other day. What if you Let's had nude say, pictures on the internet? Um, have you ever of, sent a nude picture anywhere? Uh, I, I, I don't remember specific events. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure serious. that it might have happened when I was like, a youngin, younger sure. than I am now, but that was back before the internet was like a real thing. Sure, before people could you tweet think, out your your dick cock sure. penis on you uh, think, to everybody. You think, so I'm um, being honest. I love this Elvis thing here, or Mozart. Uh-huh. If you are as famous as Elvis, or as famous as Mozart, you literally are one of the more famous people on earth alive, and you died. How much information do you think they could get? Do you think they could find out a way to hack AOL logs and figure out all the people you chatted with and the things you said? Humanly possible. Every other human on Earth is working towards this end. Do you think AOL has a clauses that says they get to keep all your conversations and then sell them? Well, what did they do with them? I don't know, but they, they have. I mean, I I had it set so that I would store all my logs of conversations I had that didn't make any sense to me as a 32 year old man. And I was like, what the hell is my 20 year old self talking about? But, you're saying it's funny. I'm talking like even like 14, 16. Yeah. Stuff I mean, like that. Now that it records it, since you're like the smallest of things, as soon as you could type on a keyboard, it's gotcha. There's going to so be my like question. centers in the future that like you were eight years old and you. Right, right. You did this. Oh, interesting. Your parents said uh, you don't like uh, Hispanic people and you left. It's like I was seven. I didn't know that word. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, well, interesting, because when you were six, 
your first grade teacher told you about yeah. Hispanics. What do you say now, Senator? It's like, damn. damn it. He's got me in a damn lie. It. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> the eight-year-old conspiracy. <laughs> well, what I'm getting at is um, how famous is the most famous person in the world, and how weird would it be if you became that famous? Hmm. So you're so, saying the most famous in the world is like maybe a Jesus type? And yeah. If I were Jesus, uh-huh. then... <laughs> <laughs> Same. Uh, there's no way that Jesus could happen like a real Jesus and not second coming. I mean, like a, a new Jesus. Sure. This day, day and age. Because he would be recorded in every which way. And they'd say, like, well, there's a parable where he made uh, uh, food out of nothing. And then it'd be like, I, I, got a, I got a picture right here. He's got loaves of bread in his, in his pants. He's just pulling bread out of his pants. Sure. You, I understand. You're disproving miracles. Yeah. I'm not talking about disproving anything. I'm saying who you are, all your horrible mistakes, mm. and your oh yeah, your semi-okay hair, and your what time your hockey's on TV, and everything you've ever done is on TV. It's recorded. It's it's whatever. Let's say um you become so famous that people can figure out a way in 20 years where they can literally stream your life for an audience, like a Truman Show it's, type of deal. Like it, yeah, but hold on. It it's, but, it, but it's this. So they were like, well, the most famous person ever, Dan, from the Unpanders, um, we're going to do his life, and we're going to make it a movie. So you can come to the movies any day. It's that day of his life. And they like have on the screen all the things you typed that day, all the things you may have looked at that were pornographic like that day. Like a news feed. All your news feeds you read, everything you texted, because, oh, yeah, everything you, <laughs> yeah, you know, seriously, too. Yeah. Oh, everything. And and you had such a following that some people were like, I'm going to fap the, the same thing Dan fap to on the same day. <laughs> and you were like, I mean, you're dead. It doesn't matter. But like, how weird would that be? Dead. How would I what? What was the last question? I was imagining my dead death. Just how weird would it be if people were so absorbed with whatever you did, you cured eight cancers and did whatever and changed the world. And people were like, you just need to know his whole life inside and out. I always feel like I couldn't run for president now that I've had a podcast because I probably said... Too much like already. Penis, cock, whatever the other one is. Uh, I think our current president is set enough, so yeah, there's well, still hope for that. But he, he grabbed a boob or something. Uh, I don't even know how I feel. I mean, I'm, I'm dead, so I don't feel about feel anything towards it. But right, if that was happening weird. live, I, I don't know. I don't know that it would affect me either. If people were like Truman showing my life. I don't know. I mean, imagine they go to your workplace and do like worshiping at where your workstation was, and you're like, nah, I just used to eat lunch there once in a while. <laughs> you're, you're like, no, 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 it's, it's pretty fun. normal. So you become like a modern day Jesus, but mm-hmm. people would follow you around, worship you. They'd ask if they could like drive your car for you. They take you places. And I'm telling you though, they would, they would, people who work at AT and T or T Mobile or whatever, give up your phone records in a second. So you could never do anything wrong. Like you already you did it. To. Yeah. Hmm. It's crazy. See, that's the flip side of it. Is that there are tons of people out there that have no notoriety whatsoever, and they're trying to get some. And then, but, right? Everyone wants to be famous, have the hits, the likes, the retweets, the hearts, the Facebook likes, the everything. But really, if you had all of them in the world, and you were the most famous person on earth. It would probably suck. It would be weird. It would be weird, people like knowing you before. I mean, that's what celebrities deal with all the time, right? But like, people yeah, come up to them like and they, they have certain expectations of them, and it's like, that was a character I played on a movie show. Like, movie show. Or just someone walking up to you and be like, hey, next time you're talking to Nick, remind him about what you did in eighth grade. And it's like, I didn't. <laughs> Go away. I don't know you. Yeah, I'll do my, my show. Leave me alone. I don't know you. <laughs> I'll talk about what I want on the unpanders. You have any idea who I am? <laughs> you get mad at them. But someone's You're recording you, so you can't really get mad at them. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I know there's a camera around here. Yeah. I'm waiting for like the generations that have had like recording like viable. Like our, growing up, recording meant that you held a VHS recorder, right? <laughs> like Cam- a big ass sure. camcorder. Yeah. Well, it came in like a mini VHS tape, right? That's sure. the one you Yeah, yeah, the mini, yes, yes. 
So, like, it was gigantic. So, like, if people were recording you, you knew it. You could see it. They're like, give me that camera. But now it's like, you have no idea what's, like, you're probably getting recorded in 10 different ways. So you can't. Yeah, forget that. They said, um, by now, we're, there's 100 cameras for every human on Earth, I think. Really? They think in 10 years, there'll be, like, 250 cameras for every human. That would be doubled. More than doubled. Thank you for the math. But, yeah. So your chances of everything getting caught on camera are much really high. That's like, I, I remember watching like road rage for people. Like they do stupid things. They get out of their car, they like punch a window and then they like cut each other off or they ram each other. And then it's like all filmed from like three different angles. Like you're just like, there'll be a time when people just be like, I'm going to be recorded. They're going to know exactly what I'm going to do. Like I can't blow my, my stack and get really angry at anybody. Blow my stack. You watch any new shows? No. What? Does that fit in the Alter- Altered Carbon? Oh, uh, maybe it is. I Have just you been? finished it. I just finished that. You finished the whole goddamn series? Yeah, I did. Where do you get this goddamn... Where do you get the time? I saw three episodes. I, does your son let you watch it? Probably not. My son no. doesn't. No, I'm not can't. watching Altered Carbon around my son. That's he gets hello? really freaky towards the end, and I was like... Does it? There's... I'm gonna... I'm gonna this is a spoiler. Don't ruin... Don't spoiler spoil me, dude. Through. Come on. I'm on episode three. I would be as vague as possible. Uh-huh. There's some like really erotic scenes that involve lots of dead corpses that are naked in the house of whatever I know. It's like it's gotta be at that house. It was it was like hot and disturbing and like like got your like nerves going because it was like really intense. Weird and intense. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, this I don't I wasn't sure how I felt, but I was like, I was gonna keep watching it. <laughs> it, was, it was good show overall. You giving it good grades? Yeah, I do. I do. It got really uh, like too much for Weird. younger yeah. viewers. Okay. I don't know what it's rated because I don't really tell you the ratings on Netflix. It's just I'm pretty sure it's R from the first episode. Oh yeah, Brains I think it's more, I think uh, it's more than R. Sex and yeah. Towards the end, that's exactly what gave me the thought that I was going to jump into uh, a whole different area. Yeah, let's go into it. If so, you could store your consciousness on a stack. It's not even your consciousness. It's all your nerve endings and all your connections. Because they even talk about that. If you put it yourself in a different body, then you have to like relearn how the body works. Hmm. You get that uh, like a sleeve sickness. Oh, you, I you, didn't get that far, I guess. Mm-hmm. No, it's actually the first episode. I finished, I finished the first two. I think I started the third, but I was drinking heavily, so I'll probably have to rewatch the third. With this series, they do they tie it in multiple times, so they loop back. And they, they bring back other people that are experiencing what he felt the first time through when you're like, what is this show about? And they just like fly through the first episode. Mm-hmm. So like you get a, that's one of the things they create a good world. But yeah, yeah it's very Blade Runner meets uh, something. Yeah. Like a total recall almost like a different world. Sure, a little bit of total recall meets Blade Runner. Yeah. Yeah. They, um, so if you could store your consciousness and save yourself. And have you got, everything that's you. Yeah, you get your to, endings, your consciousness. Your, what about your strength and your speed? I feel like they change with the sleeve. No, I guess you could, if you have a human, it's called a corpse, you know, a human clone, you could make them stronger. You can give them okay. upgrades and stuff. You haven't got that far okay. yet. But, yeah. So you can, if you're super wealthy, you can never die unless your stack gets shot through mm-hmm. uh, and you don't have a backup. But they make backups for the super rich. So that's the rich one guy. Rich people can always afford backups. Mm-hmm. Kind of like stem cells. Mm-hmm. If you could make your yeah, whole body new again. Right. And instantaneously usable again. Pretty yeah. much. I was say, like, Tron does the same thing. The new one. You see the Neutron? I saw, like, three quarters of it. Neutron. Um, did I finish it? No, I didn't. You didn't finish it? Well, the whole premise of that was that like you could break down the human DNA and the whole buildup of, of a, a person and like convert it into a digital world where you could pretty, like do digital surgery on them and then fix them and then port them back into the normal world. Is that what the, Oh yeah, I did finish it. Is that what the other guy was? The bad guy was the bad version of what's his name? Yeah. He was Jeff like Bridges. a digital version of him, but the, uh, yeah, he was a bad Jeff Bridges. What do they call, uh, that really attractive, serious actress, uh, Olivia Wilde. Yeah, she was the uh, I forget what they call them. Oh shit! Uh, your like robot partner, uh, but not robot. Uh, 
indigenous. Yeah, the indigenous, this, the, yeah, the indigenous yeah. people of the digital world. Yeah. They showed up one day. He was like, he showed up one day in the digital world. The stuff, the stuff. Digital okay. life. The beginning of digital, digital life. Which is crazy because that almost seems like hmm. Hmm. how we became. Hmm. 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 I don't know where I was going with that. But. Digital self. Sometimes there's topics where I think there's a ton to talk about, and sometimes it. Well, oh, there's out. there's definitely a lot of meat on this potato. Oh, there definitely is. I just I don't know where to go. Fluid Let's conversation. <clears throat> was every sleeve in the show a sleeve was treated as a sleeve? Mm, well, that's not like not a human life in a way. I was like, how you <clears throat> how you define a sleeve is different. I like to. Um, I'm going to ruin the show for you. Don't That's ruin the damn show. All right, move off the show. Let's you can, say... You can ask the question, though. They, they, certain sleeves, they are no, they know are actual humans that will be humans again. So they treat certain skins as, like, Better. you know, not going to not gonna ruin the skin because it is human and it will be used again. Okay. That's, that's the, uh, the gist of the religious, I would say, aspect of it. I mean, there's the people who hate people who... Yeah, who reskin themselves. Right, right. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. It's a world that needs a follow-on. I will say that. You could recreate okay. another show in that same vein, and you could you do a different show. show with the same world. Yeah. There are three or four characters that I could see playing and continuing on. That sexy-ass cop? Oh, yeah. Kristen Thank Ortega. You. Thank you. I knew you looked her name up. I knew it. I just knew it. I don't know what her real name is, though. That's her mm. show character. Hmm. How do you think people yeah. will view our yeah. podcast? I think they're like, uh, I didn't watch a show. What are they talking yeah. about? <laughs> or hold on. Or hold on. Dude, go into specifics. Oh, I love that show. This is the best show. I hope they'd say so-and-so about something. And, uh, and I'm here like, uh... I'm really waiting for someone to actually watch it and give concrete feedback all right i'm close i'm close all right if i get free time i'm not doing podcasts or raising a child i'm talking about our own podcast not alter well we can talk alter carbon when you're done but like even our own podcast like i don't know how people take it because i feel like most people uh, don't respond people okay with it and don't respond with it but i will say <clears throat> there hasn't been a new one in a while according to some people and oh. the fact that they know that that's a good they're, thing, right? they're quiet listeners. They're stalkers. Uh-huh. Oh. What's the other word for a stalker? Lurker. They're lurkers. That's what it is. I'm a good lurker. So how do you exist digitally? I don't know. I don't think I have very big of a footprint. Like, I don't have... <clears throat> we'll talk about the social medias. Like, on your um, <clears throat> Reddit, are you posting a lot? Are you upvoting a lot? Are you... The name that I post under is Unpanders YouTube. So, it's really... I. I I'll blame it on you if it's a shitty post. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But do you do posts? I do Once every now and then. Twice I gave a guy. I gave a guy props today because he went through a story about um, how he was looking for a new job and stuck in the same job, but he loved his job and then he upgraded. And then like two years later, he upgraded again, so he boosted his salary literally by like three hundred percent. Double. Nice. Yeah. Good so and like he went through the phases and detailed what he was thinking and feeling and like. How it, like might have not worked out, but it actually did, and you could see like both sides. Like he's one of those posters, posters that it's he's not dead set on a certain opinion. Mm-hmm. He's, he's he's splitting he's, it. He's um clinical analysis. Clinical, yeah, yeah clinical analysis. Very yeah. um. I found this, but then this, and then I noticed this, and these are the numbers. This, mm-hmm. which is almost like an overshare in, in one degree. Yeah, but I think he was self-aware of not oversharing. He was just... Sure. Sometimes they're like, you could feel oversharers. This is, again, like digital personas that you read in through just text. You can you could right. feel how a person is, how they I are. I think you can, especially if there's more than one post, obviously. Yeah, and there was. And the type of post someone posts. Mm-hmm. So if someone's always posting in cryptocurrency but doesn't have any posts anywhere else, like that's like... One-sided. Right, right. It's like, yeah. I know what you're here for. Relax, pal. So like the oversharers usually want a response. So they like they don't post things that are very long. So they're just like they'll like finish it with a question. Like 
Like mm-hmm. this isn't this is the internet. Like you're not going to get a response to that question that you want. So people Some you do. Eh, really? Very well, rarely. I agree. So what were we beginning? I forgot what I was going to say about that. Um, digital imprint. <clears throat> Just I'm on Twitter all the time. Like that's where yeah. I go. I don't. I hardly use. I use Facebook like once a week. I don't even use Facebook that look, once a month, maybe. Well, hold on. Use is just, I check it once yeah. a week. You look? I put this in it once every six months or so. Instagram, Twitter. You use Twitter a lot. I use Twitter all the time. And then um, Tumblr? I don't even know if I have a Tumblr account. I don't think I do. What about things that like track you? Like track your movement? Google Maps? Um, yeah, I probably use Google Maps a good amount. As so, a delivery guy, it's like useful to go from stop to stop. Yeah. So people could probably track your movement. <laughs> they could yeah. track my um, what you call yeah. my delivery route. So, you could see where you. Hey, have minutes. fun in North Philly, you dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> you took a dump at this bar. Yeah. There was a murder around the street, around the corner. It's possible, maybe. It is. Hmm. Implemented in crime. Actually, um, did you hear the new Alexas? The releasing have a direct line to the police. Really, honestly, like an emergency. Swear to God, yeah, it just came out. Um, it's more for nine one one emergencies, but also you can report a crime if you want. Huh? What if you it accidentally? Just came out yesterday or today? I saw that and I was like, <clears throat> Yeah, I want the police in my in my uh, living room. Is that is an Alexa covered under like the um like if you're talking to a priest that is supposed to be confidential? I, know, I, know. I don't know. I don't know. They're like, I just murdered somebody. And they're like, the Alexa is still on. And like, the police have been <laughs> Wait, like, The priest is like that. I have an Alexa in the pew. With he's me. not even in the pew. It's just an Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> I absolve you. Thank you, Peter. That's one thing that a show has not. Has that has a show done that where it's a robotic priest? No, that's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> you just made a million bucks. Yeah, someone made. Bucks, if you waited to the 50 minute mark of the Unpanders, folks. Yeah, Woo! welcome. Lucky That's you. That's where the ideas start coming. They do. We should make that mm. robotic religious cult. Once once we find robots that can understand religion. Poor <laughs> <laughs> people. Anybody can understand religion. It would be great <laughs> if they gave you all the options. Like... Depending on how you feel, you could do any of these options because they're all in scripture. A, penance. B, not penance. <laughs> C, rejoice. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling rejoice today, yeah. Alexa. Pump up some God songs that celebrate rejoicing. <laughs> I thought you might find this one really good. Thanks, Alexa. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, I just take a sip. I knew that was the wrong time to take a sip of my beer beverage. Mm. For Beer flavored beverage, <laughs> ah, the old H yeah. two O oh, flavored like that. Be, that'd be another thing. Is that you can? So they have those like Coke machines that have all the different flavors of Coke. Mm-hmm. It's like if, if they had like the terrible flavors, like to dissuade people from becoming an alcoholic. Maybe it would help. I don't know. I don't know if that would dissuade people. I feel like beer kind of tastes bad. It's not bad, but it's only not. That's bad. why when you give it to a Kid, the kids are always like, oh, this is icky. This is disgusting. How do you drink this? It's like, to get drunk. <laughs> and then like, like an hour later, they're just like, ha I love it. Yeah, yeah. Give me more of that. Yeah. And think about it. When you're like a teenager and you're sneaking beer, you're like, this tastes old. Keep drinking. So, <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> I mean, it's like, like, kind of like, 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 crusty the cloud or something. Keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Jello. Oops, I got close that. Oh, yeah, it's very bright. Very blue. Sorry. Uh, my background today is actually a, ooh, I did it so Yelp backgrounds appear. Yelp? No, Bing. Is it Bing or Yelp? Who has the fancier? Bing is a search engine. Yeah. Yelp is for food. Very blue no, food. I use the, I use the Bing. Um, it's the background of the day. It makes it my desktop cone? background. Like how many I'll blue foods are the, there? Spider 37, uh, Dog Pile. Lycos. Lycos. Your mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oh, I was trying to think of the old ones. I used to know a bunch from uh, a Miss Jeeves. Grace. Yes, Jeeves. Oh, there were so many but good if it, ones. If it was Yelp, it'd be food, right? <clears throat> the background would be blue because I saw the big, bright blue screen shining right. on your face. It was the uh, Bahamas, I believe. 
Oh, some beautiful ocean view. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think this episode's going to cut it. My fears are being lived. Yeah. Yep. That means it's cut. Good night, babe. Love you so much. Hmm. She said, I'll something. make sure. She said, make sure. I couldn't hear the rest. So. You're going to have to do every errand that's on the list. What do you think of what she was thinking of? I don't know. Laundry, dishes, mail, no. trash. Wait. Let's do all the. Let's go through what all of those. Said, what if she said, make sure you kill Behemoth in Final Fantasy XV? <laughs> that's right where I am. Huh. Like, that's very be, thoughtful. I'm just saying. I would love it if if they knew what we were doing in games. Let's talk about Sea of Thieves. I okay, swear. Go. So like. Oh, okay. I like Sea Thieves. I mm-hmm. love Sea Thieves. I know you do. You're going to get I'm it. Gonna, I'm getting it. I don't care. I will give it that you can sit on like the bow of the ship and just look at the waves and like uh, let other people control the ship and you just sail. And there's a feeling like you can almost put your feet in the water and you feel the sun and it's just swaying. Like you can just keep swaying. The, they spend all their money on water, the ocean, the way the water looks, the way you move in the water, the way the water moves around you. The way it looks at night, the way it looks in the morning, the way it I don't storms, know, waves storms, crashing, the way it yeah, it, the way it moves your boat, the way you move in it, the way it's a very fluid, yeah, cerebral, but not not harsh, like almost a it feels very natural, like there's a nature aspect to it that just is undeniable. It like the little white caps that come during like a, a little, it's a little bit breezy. When you're going against the wind or something. Yeah. So I will say that about it. It's very soothing. Mm-hmm. The problem is that it's soothing and I wake up like five hours later from its trance and I go, shit, now I gotta actually go to sleep. At night we were playing, uh, I literally was like, ah, it's like one o'clock. I was like, I gotta stop now. Yeah. And I must have played for whatever and I stopped and it was like, I looked at the clock and it was like 3, 3 a.m. and I was like, oh my god. It's the blue. And then I realized it was daylight savings 3, so... That's what uh, Clash of Clans did, is that it, it gave you like a bright green and blue background, mm-hmm. just like the background that you have in the Bahamas right now. Mm-hmm. And it's like it puts you in a trance because your body is wired to receive blue. So you're looking at a blue ocean, bright blue. It's in motion and you're constantly like, what can I do? And there's always like a little something you could do. Yeah, there is always tidying up or something. Yeah. It's good, but I think we've done it. I. I think we've done almost everything for like interacting between boats and stuff. No, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> I just think there's something cool about uh, the uh, the truce situation. Yeah, there's a truce no, 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 for two truce. minutes. No, tr- uh, truce. And then both boats are getting closer. And it's like, no, 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 this is really a truce. And both boats are still getting closer. And you're like, it's a truce, right? And everyone's at the cannons, like <laughs> waiting you can hear for them the talking. first shot. Yeah. That is funny when uh, you can hear people talking. Like, I snuck on board, and they were like, we're going to circle around and kill these F and Fs. And they were like, whoa. I should have hid below deck when I when I snuck on their ship and just listened to them talk. You can. I mean, as long as you don't talk, they don't hear you. That should be my goal. It's like, I wish they had a small ship that they couldn't see, or you can, like, have, like, a submarine or something. One man. A one-man ship. Yeah. Beep, beep. <laughs> I feel like it's... It could be a game that really has something to it if it adds like a couple features. Like your progression is not very. It doesn't. I don't think the progression is going to do very much for you. It might look cool, but you're not going to be that much more powerful. I don't think they can make it too powerful though, because then why would anyone new want to play? Yeah, exactly. So they keep it okay, basic. Order. Well, um, apparently there's like a pirate secret hideaway. You can only get two if you're a certain level, and I don't know. There's pirate. Um, no captain abilities or something. There's animals you can rescue. I don't know. Did you read any of this? Or no, just... I'm not interested in reading. I just want to play. <laughs> fair, fair. I will say that like the teamsmanship that we had when we played last the other night. Red Rocket. Yeah. Shout out Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Rocket. Penis cock dick. He was <clears> no. He's great. He did. He, he, he called it. He was like a. Shells the half mast or whatever, and then like yeah, like he was, reel he was it up. Bossy, he was a bossy dude, but he knew the right. He, he knew, knew the right chill, Yeah, he knew not to go over over his bossiness. And he for a while, that. I thought he was going to be the kind of 
the bo- kind of boss who was like, no, 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 we shouldn't engage another ship unless our po- probability is above 78%. Yeah. And I was like, come on, dude. That was a little fun. But he, he was like, let's do it after him. And yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Into like an hour long battle between us and this other ship. Mm. And, and the other ship. <laughs> the <third> ship. <laughs> you sunk the one, right? Yeah, we sunk one. And then I don't know that we were kind of half assing it because we were low on supplies. Mm-hmm. I think it's just better to ram and start shooting. It might be the end all. Well, you've never had a gunpowder barrel, have you? No, I guess you could put that on their ship and explode it, right? Yeah, you can carry it onto their ship and bring it below deck. Uh, and then just wait for someone to come down and just blow it up. <laughs> I think it blows up uh, like a probably the size of the ship, but like small, like width-wise. So if you put it at like the bow of the ship, like at the bottom level, you probably get like four or five or six holes instantaneous. Hmm. You can also do it to your own ship, but that makes me want to play again. See, I'm telling you, the game's, <laughs> the game's not that amazing, it's, groundbreaking. It's it just have, so much fun. Yeah, it's, it's there's not dumb fun. Yeah, there's not a lot of depth to it. It's not like you can really like dig deep into it. But like, what's there is. It's, it's detailed. It's, fun. it's like it's fun. And I really wish uh, the bros. Like, so you weren't on the boat. <clears throat> so um, you know you kept trying to fix our boat when it was going around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was on there by myself. You made a parlay with the uh, the yeah. bros. I called them. Who were like, "Yo, dude, you guys are playing this game." Like, and they were like, "It's gnarly, bro. I love your boat. You guys should come on our boat." And we get we went onto their boat. <clears throat> and was and uh, everyone played musical instruments. Well, when you get, like, five to six people playing, it, like, fills in with sound like you wouldn't believe. And it was the coolest thing ever. And I, I remember being, like, I got, like, my hairs to stand up on the back <laughs> of my neck and stuff. And everyone was playing their instruments. And it, like, it filled in, like, a fifth layer of sound. Like, that you can't get from three or four people. Huh. And I was, like, this is one of the most beautiful moments in gaming ever because... <laughs> It was cool because your teammates are green, I think they let up, and your enemies are white. So, like, I was looking at these people, and your natural instinct when you see the white cursor is to attack. Like, I can kill this person. Two sword strikes, and they're dead. And, like, they're probably looking at me thinking the same, and to my right is a guy in green, and he's, like, my my ally, so I can't hurt him. And it was all these people in different color cursors. So, we're ending racism, if you notice. Uh, yeah. But we were all playing music and it was beautiful. And like the sun was setting and you could see it on the water. And I was like, I was like, this is like, I didn't want to be the first person to stop playing the instrument. I'll put it that way. You guys could have kept playing because I was going to circle the ship around and then ram you did. Them. You circled around a little bit. I was going to ram. Them. But, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's not my friend. He's not my friend. I don't know him, <laughs> but eventually they, uh, someone turned on one of us and everyone killed everyone. Yeah, and we chased them down to the and, edge of the world. And and if we had just yeah. killed them, because they had no idea, and the red water started flowing everywhere, there yeah. was blood in the air and the sea. Oh, so mad we didn't kill them. Yeah, we were eaten by sharks. <clears throat> and they I, literally, I, their um, voice chat picked up in ours, and they were like, now these motherfuckers are going to kill us, dude. These guys are going to fucking kill us, man. And, and that's what they were saying. <laughs> and then they, they rode away. And I was like, damn, we missed them. And then we, we die. Uh, that is the one thing that, like, if they're off in the distance, it takes, I think it takes a little too long to catch up. Like, they have, they should have Mario Kart rules, where if you're in second place, you move, up like 50% faster. Maybe they will implement that. Maybe that's their trick. They could. They said they're doing a major update in three months, if you did any reading. I know you're not big So I'll that. buy it in three months, is what you're, you're telling me. Problem is, it's a Microsoft game. And they don't go on discount, do they? Don't do a lot of sales. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. GTA Grand Theft Auto Five is still sixty dollars in the store. Is that a Microsoft? That's Rockstar. No, it's not. But I was just—it's Rockstar. But to the point of, that's absurd. I mean, if you're going to devalue your game, what's there's nothing preventing you from keep keeping to devalue it. Like you're trying to hit a price point to bring in more people. Right to bring in more people. But I guess if you if people are buying your game and it's good, you don't have to. Yeah. Good on you, I guess. If you keep it at 60 bucks, then you're going to wait until people age. And if it's an ageless game, which some multiplayer games are, 
True. And you're going to keep playing it like uh, Call of Duty Remastered. Mm. Mm. Did you like that Remastered video? There were. It looked way beautiful, but uh, actually, my only gripe would have been they changed it too much, but it didn't look like it changed at all. Like the, the level design, everything was still there. It looked like it moved almost exactly the same, but I, I couldn't verify that. The only gripe I had was that he, like, he was using different weapons than I would use, and like he's I saw him going, he's, yeah, he's not going to sprint around as fast as he could. He's not do what we do. It's bad people. But even like the times he would go into certain, like, I would say like hot areas, like you'll get shot if you're standing in this one spot. He's still there for like maybe a second longer than I would, and I was like, there's no reason to stand there. You already looked around, like. Get out, get out, and he'd like die, and I'd just be like, "That's what happens, man." Now, did you see the one where he went thirty-one and nine? I don't know. I didn't check the scores. I was just watching him run around. He did really well at picking people off with a sniper rifle. He was really fast with that. No, I, this was a level in um, I can't remember the names of any of the levels, but I remember the level very well, and I was like, "Damn, it was a fun level." And it had all the same perks. Like uh, at seven, you get the helicopter and all that. Five, the airstrike. Three, the UAV. That I will say, like. The way they set that up, where you get what? Very yeah. good. Yeah, three, five, three, five and seven. seven. Yeah. That's the right thing to do. Don't make it like real complex what the other games do, is where you get to choose. Just right. make it basic for everybody. And then you you know it, exactly what's happening. Right, and you know how many kills another player has by his helicopter or his airstrike or whatever have you. Uh-huh. Hmm. Makes me kind of miss it, but that also was a video from like two years ago, right? So it... Yeah, 2016 of, I forget what month, late in the year, and it's 2018 early in the year, so oh. probably, a year, probably a year and two months. What do you like think the that. lifespan of a, a remastered game is? Like, that first game lasted, what, four years before it started to peter out? Yeah, it lasted a while. Do you think the servers are still up for the original original, not the remaster? I don't know that my Xbox still works to play it, or that I have the... Yeah, yeah it definitely it does. Well, I don't know. Multiplayer, though. I don't know. I just set up my Xbox. I see. My kid. I thought I would try and get him to play some stupid uh, yeah. Lego game that came with this system. Does it, he doesn't care. He doesn't understand it? No, and he doesn't. He's like, you do it, Dada. And I'm like, I, don't, I set this up so I can walk away from you. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Give me like five minutes. I don't know. Too many words. Are you typing it? Call of Duty 4, uh, what should we call it? Modern Warfare. Still multiplayer open. still active. Oh, let's see. Let's see. It too. All right. Um, mm-hmm. The problem is that this is, well, February 2017, so that was a year ago. They say it's still there. I believe it. There's probably some kind of weird rule, but it's probably one server that, like, hosts, like, six games or something. Yeah, and now it's whittled down to the people that are just, like, hardcore about it no dude think of this you think that people are hardcore hardcore people moved on to the other call of duties the people on there are the people in like third world countries who are getting this game for like 10 bucks huh they don't even speak english look at that this is like their first multiplayer game we can go on there and tear it up there's probably two or three people on there who are super ringers probably hack the game they'll be our nemesi yeah but they're hacking the game they're cheating I think we still you really them. want to beat up some cheaters? I'm trying to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's that, where's that rank in your all-time games, by the way? The highest kills? No, no, no. Where does it rank in your, your all-time games? It's weird because I played... Uh, I probably played Bioshock like two or three times. It's up there for you. It's up there with Bioshock because even like... I remember playing that when I was... Like three years after it was released, and like still having the same amount of fun right. playing it, right. and it was like there's hardly any games that you could play that much and still be like, yeah, sure, I could go. Like, well, like kind of like how the Jurassic Park graphics hold up, like even today almost. Yeah, they did an amazing job with like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You watch right. that, and you're just like, you don't, you don't see the defects. There's no defects right. there. Versus another movie released in 96 or 98, whenever the hell that was, yeah. you could watch it and watch the special effects and be like, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Something's date right away. Something's dumb. Um, another series is like the Half-Life series, I feel like. 
those have a feel to them that's unique, I think. And it's uniform graphics. It is. Well, it's because whatever engine. That, is that a Half-Life engine? Yeah, I don't even know. I think it, I'm not sure. Is it Unreal? Unreal. Who knows? I, uh, you probably never played Unreal. The original Unreal was actually really cool. Is that the one where you could, like, warp twice? Like, nah, you crash land on the alien planet. You don't even have, like, a weapon for the first 20 minutes of the game. Hmm. It's cool. Like, you can't play it now. It's tough. I, it's like watching a movie from the 1970s or something. Like, if I told someone, they'd be like, you have to watch this movie from 1960s no, yeah. by director so-and-so. <laughs> it's so good. And it might be really good, and it might be way better than some of the stuff done now, but it's so hard to watch a movie from the 1960s. And you constantly think of the guy who told you to watch it, and you're just like, I don't know about this. And you're like, this movie? Even if you like the guy, you're like, this is like shot like it's a movie from 1960. Yeah. Because <laughs> it is. So that's how it is playing an older game, I feel like. You can't be like, go back and play Mario Brothers, but keep it open mind. Pretend there aren't better graphics. And it's like, ding, 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 ding. And it takes and forever. Right, yeah, no, it's too hard. The mediums have changed too much. Yeah. Hmm. What's um, Strange Love? Dr. Strange Love. That's one of the ones that people like to always tell me to watch. Just randomly, I'm like, how to stop I loving can't. the bomb and making love to the bomb. Yeah, and for some reason I can't watch that. I don't know. Right, it's it's too tough to watch a movie that's way past your 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 brain frame. Yeah, if you can, it might be worth it, but it's it's tough to get over that hump. I do feel like I'm gonna make enough money to retire early, and then once I don't care about money anymore, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play all all the games that I, I liked, and I'll be like probably disappointed with ninety five percent of them. Sure. So, I'm just trying to figure out if I want to play games or if I want to make games at that point. Mm. So I'm trying to make it's going to like the rest of my life will be spent trying to make this beautiful game, and I'll release it when I die or something. <laughs> and people baby. will study your life and hack all the uh, internet servers at the time. If you ever watch pornography on your phone, we'll know what it was, when it was, and we'll uh, we'll celebrate with you. On that day of that year in a movie theater near you. You're thinking you're going to outlive me. Oh, no, no, no I'm dead. You're we, the people. The people. Hopefully your digital form can get uploaded, and then I'll just make sure you come back for that one day. No, I want to be gone. Okay, I see at your stance. Point, at one point, I just want to rest forever. At one point. Not now. I'm not saying that now. But you don't think you want to? Just go to sleep forever? Yeah. At one point, I'm not saying today. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God! Let's not make this a dark podcast. But at one point, you don't think? What keeps the people who are like over a hundred alive? I don't even know. You think they're like, just like, I'm done. I don't. I don't think they're thinking about it. I think they just literally. It's a. Do you think time a, moves so fast that they like blink and they wake up and it's like a year later? Little, it's like it's the next it's day. It's like happy birthday, and then you like down, you fall asleep, you wake up, or, get you to eat, and someone's like your poop was solid again, and you're like. Close your eyes and you wake up and they're There's like, you shuffle to there. the left. You got to walk to the bathroom. By the time you're done, you're tired and you're like, your knee looks like it's in bad shape. And you're gone. And you're like, I don't know what it is. And then you wake up again and someone's kids are here and you're like, he's over 48 times a champion of the people, mister. And you blink again. And it's like, uh, you know, I don't know. So you you don't really have a choice. You just keep living because, I don't know. Because that's what you've done for 100 years. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't changed. It's not like it's not like you're sitting there like, hmm, I'll continue continuing on. I don't think it's really conscious at that point. Not to mention your brain isn't that swift or clear. You can't even remember half the stories you wanted to share with the world. Yeah, it's like a spider web after a child just like whacked it out of the air. Can you oh. imagine trying to explain like how like the nuances of what happens to me on Pandora's where we're like, I was in the line with a guy. And he had one item in his cart, and I let him go first, and he called his son. And his son had 14 items in his arm. And I was like, why did you do that? I have two items. You should have just let me go. And, like, can <laughs> you imagine this guy thinking of it at 101, something that happened when he was 32, and, like, for, like, 10 minutes in a supermarket? Like, he can't who would listen recall to that. And who would listen? Exactly. It's not, like... Interesting. Yeah, Can you tell like, me what happened 70 years ago in, in a supermarket? That's Go nice on Pander Dan. That's nice. Right. I don't so, understand. Watch this video of me when I was 32. It's better this way. People won't care. I Most can't wait until it's like, 
I'm like 100 and like the nurse is like changing my whatevers. And I go, hey, look at me when I was 32. And she's like, oh, damn, he was hot. And smart. No, think about this. Would you say that if like you were changing someone who's 108 and then like they showed you a hot picture and you're like, no, damn, right. You were hot, but I don't care right now. That doesn't change what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Keep wiping my ass. <laughs> <laughs> And this is my fantasy, and then, damn it. You know, and then you slide him a dollar, and you're like, not that far away from my ass. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a lot of excitement for one night. Well, folks. Uh, uh, we like you. A little bit more every night. We like you. A lot. A lot. <clears throat> check out our socials. Yeah. Pay us money. Don't pay us money. Don't check out our socials. We, don't. we do this for fun. Don't even watch our videos. Mm. Yeah. Especially this one. 